Oh, thank you, G-Man. Well, listen, when it comes to getting that flawless skin to look like a shiny rock, it is all about the perfect foundation and that is the finish and it's no secret. So don't worry because we are here to help you if you're struggling with mismatched neck and crease concealer and perhaps you can't get that flawless look that you want. That's why we've asked makeup professional Renee DeVitt to come and help us out. Renee, it's always so great to have you here. Thank because you. Because you have the most beautiful skin. Our model has the most gorgeous skin, but it all comes down to skin preparation. Now, when it comes to hydrating the skin, I know that plays a key role in the foundation. What can we do to make sure our skin stays as hydrated as possible? Okay, so it's very important to know your skin type. So if your skin is slightly dehydrated, if it's dry, you know, there's certain tips and tools that you can break, you know, kind of fix your skin. So what I like to do is when I apply my, before I apply my foundation, I take a little bit of hyaluronic serum, mm. but I don't just apply it to the skin, I apply it to damp skin. And what I found is really magic is if I take a little bit of the glowing mist oh. and I just mist it with the damp skin, it just locks in the moisture. And you can add this to your foundation okay. to get the glow. So don't be afraid of moisture. You don't have to start off on a dry, no. plain canvas. Start with that hydrating canvas. Absolutely. I love that. I think what happens is when you put a foundation on a skin that's not hydrated, it sees it as moisture and oh. absorbs it and that's why your foundation tends to slide off. Okay. That's why the hydration part is just so essential. I think it's important to understand you need that hydration right. in order for your foundation to stay and look beautiful. A lot of people battle pigmentation, blemishes. Mm. I've got quite a few breakouts and we want to cover them up properly. You, what you're is perfect. The, I've you got, no uh, they've been covered up, they've been covered up, but what's the best way to, to, to spot treat those dark marks? Yeah, so I had an incident with a mosquito last night and I have a gazillion mosquito bites on my face. So I'm the perfect person to explain to you what to do. So after you do your hydration, you do your foundation, the best thing to do is just to take a little bit of makeup fixing spray this is like my holy grail. Spray it onto the beauty blender. When you do your concealer and you spot it on, push it into the skin. Push okay. it in. And that way it's locked in. You still have the hydration, but you've covered your mosquito bites or your blemishes or your pigmentation. I love that. I love that. I knew Renee is the perfect <laughs> person to ask all my burning questions with. Now we all want that flawless foundation mm. look. How do we make sure we've got the right shade? Because I'm someone where I'm very big on sunblock, so now the problem is my body is a different shade to my right. face, but I need the foundation to match everywhere. How, how can we make sure we've got an even look? So this is the tricky part because <laughs> Madam has just been on holiday, so she's oh. super tan, but the, her face obviously is a lot lighter. So what I do when I try out my foundation or I consult with clients, I always say, Try, don't buy. So when you go in store, you find three shades that are the closest to your skin tone. Okay. And you swatch them, not on your hands, always on your cheek, your chin, your forehead, and a little bit in your neck. There's never gonna be one shade that's absolutely perfect. Okay. But you can slightly dilute the shade by adding a bit of serum or a bit of moisturizer. And then once you've placed your foundation in certain areas, go have a coffee, walk around, give it 20, 30 minutes to see if it oxidizes, if it changes. The color that stays truest to you, that is your color. That is your color. You just need to remember which sample right. you put where. I always love that because when you go to a store, the light is always different and you go into a different store, the light's different there. So I love that. Try don't before buy. you buy. Try, don't buy. Try, don't buy. So we've matched it to golden caramel. Um, so application techniques, what I find different skin tones, different skin types, and how to have this beautiful, long, glowing skin. Mm. There's a million ways of doing it. If you want a really um, flawless, more full cover, I tend to moisten my sponge with the makeup fixing spray. I put a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I pat it into the skin. You pat it. I pat it into the skin. But also because I've used the makeup setting spray, that color is not going to shift okay. and it's going to be hydrated. If you feel that's a bit too much coverage, you can take your foundation and buff it out. Ah, right? okay. Or if you really want extra, you can 
stipple Add. it into your skin, okay. which is really a lovely way of covering that nasty pigmentation spots. Okay, I love that. So, I, you, so you use the fixing spray to wet your beauty blender. Is it wrong to use water, like to wash your uh, your beauty blender under the, the the basin? No. Okay. I mean that's ideal. You have to moisten it first. Okay. And once it's moistened, that's when you put your makeup setting spray. If your skin's like super dry and it's winter, I tend to use a little bit of this magic, which is ah. the glow toner, on a cotton pad before beforehand and then I will add a little bit of the hydration onto my sponge and I would do fixing. So it's a little bit of layering and a little bit of playing around with different kinds of moisture. Okay, I absolutely love that. Now how will we finish off her look? Right, so if you're over a certain age like myself, I tend to avoid powders but obviously you want your makeup to stay put. So what I do is I would if I use my concealer, for example, underneath the eyes, I'll pat it in and I'll keep looking up, take my finger, add a little bit of powder while I'm still looking up so that it doesn't crease. Ah. The same with my powder. I would dot the powder where I want it, which is essentially in the T-zone. In the T-zone. only in the T-zone. And you don't have to powder all over because you've got flawless skin. You, you want just, the glow. You want the glow and the powder takes that away. Exactly. It's such a tough one because you want the glow but you want the makeup to stay and it's only the powder that can do that. But I love all the tips you've given us. Thank you. Renee, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And did you know, in fact, 70% of women wear the wrong foundation. So head on over to your nearest Woolworth store to get your foundation matched and shop all of your foundation coverage needs at Woolworths Beauty. It's available in-store online as well as on the Woolies app.